Welcome to 5-Minute Minecraft, where my mind is better than yesterday, and the internet connection has been the absolute worst. I'm going to have to get out of here. Um, so I, I know it's unexciting, but... Again, I just do not have an agenda. I have some nifty stuff here, but... That's about it. decent path already. So, this week I've learned a few very interesting things. Frankly, the past few months have been a minor experience in I don't know, the YouTube system. <laughs> I guess on the one hand, yes, I am in individual who is playing video games on the PlayStation in my natural environment. I'm doing videos for one person who doesn't really care whether there's any sound quality or whatever. My target audience is one person who enjoys my videos regardless. Somehow, there was that little frame of time where all of those people kept showing up, coming to the channel, and all of a sudden we had a big number of unexpected subscribers. What a shock, right? And there were a couple of fairly reasonable comments about sound quality. Respect, it all makes sense. I'm the one who's being stubborn just thinking about the Ada who I'm making videos for. When really, I mean, I'm posting on a public platform, so it would make sense to be a little bit considerate towards the people who 
are also going to be watching the videos. So, I was watching one of my YouTube people while he talked about YouTube income. He was talking about what he makes and general expenses. All the stuff that nobody really thinks about with the YouTube channels. And that's where I thought, I can never <laughs> be a successful YouTuber. Might not useful sharpness. Okay. Efficiency. That's the one. All right. I mean, I could be totally wrong, and all of a sudden, a bunch of people just show up. Give us your YouTube! You know? But I was looking at this guy who has 100,000 subscribers, and he's talking about how much he makes just there, and I'm thinking. That he's making about the same as I make from two weeks working my regular job. And that's before taking into account all of the expenses. And I just thought, I'm using all of my time making videos like this. I'm playing Minecraft right now. I just spend hours of my week playing a game, talking, and the most editing that I can do right now is cutting the front or the end of a video. I can press a mute button when I'm going to cough or sneeze where I have to blow my nose. That is my editing skill. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And I'm thinking, in order to start making any money at YouTube, I have to have 1,000 subscribers. I have a little over 100. It is to me anyway. At the start, I did have those wild dreams of maybe I could make money doing this, maybe I could get popular, people would like the channel. And that died really quick when <laughs> it seemed pretty clear that there were not going to be that many subscribers. Then of course there's the little resurgence when the channel starts to get just a little bit of popularity. It shows up in mysterious feeds thanks to the algorithm.
And then there are these empty spots for months, weeks, years. I don't, it's hard to tell. And it's impossible to not remember the first time that I put videos out and some person I didn't know. First person in chat is talking about joining a group and trying to grow the channel. So of course you start thinking about the what ifs. What if I had to tr eh, what if I had tried joining in back then? Instead of just making it about doing videos for a special person. But I mean, I still... I still have a rational mind, and I think, in my particular scenario, not only would it be incredibly expensive just to try and start out, I thought of the amount of time that I'm spending making videos for fun, with barely any editing. And I look at the potential investment time for doing videos for a profit, requiring actual editing and skill. And I came to the conclusion I could still be wrong and weird things could happen, but according to my conclusion, I would basically have to be doing a full-time job and full-time YouTube. Until somehow, this thing started paying off in a way that was close to equaling what I make working the job I currently work. I have to think, for most creators, your goal is probably... to make more money for your work. There are supplements like Twitch and Patreon. I don't know how everything goes. And at the end of the day, I'm just not social like other people either. The second I realized that I could make these videos without being on stream mode, I stopped doing the stream mode when I made the videos. I had mild anxiety when some random person would show up and start trying to talk to me while I'm making my video. And I'm just trying to stay in character of this is five minute Minecraft. Welcome to the show. This is what I'm doing. How do I get a stream? 
stranger to understand that I don't talk to strangers. Hey, you started a stream, remember? This is kind of what people expect when they come to a stream. say, so I see you're playing a game. Sometimes I get a little rants, and I'm not exactly sure if I even had a point to begin with. Dark Souls 2 introduction. Was favored by the algorithm and showed up in a few feeds. Granting, what, three or four new subscribers and a thought that. Maybe I should record a little bit more of my Dark Souls 2 playing. So, I do hope to do a little of that later on. There are a lot of times in life where I really do wish that somebody would just tell me what to do. I remember my last job. I have this thing where I really don't like talking to people, but when I have a couple of friends around, I really like feeling needed. And so, I try to entertain my friends. Say things that I think would amuse them, or at least so startle them that they have to laugh or whatever. And one of these former work friends suggested that I should start a podcast. And I'm not against the idea. I mean, that's technically what I'm doing right here, I guess. But I was just thinking the whole time... I would love to do that, but I don't even know what to do. If you want to start that with me, I would love to. And nothing ever happened. And of course, I barely have any drive or follow through. So, this is the most commitment I've had, doing daily Minecraft videos and random other gaming things. And I'm at this little point where... If a dozen people out there said something like, I would give you money if you started a Patreon, then I would figure out how to start a Patreon. What kind of perks could I possibly offer somebody? Like, show up to things that I'm already doing. I stream for Ada on the weekends, but if you pay five dollars a month, I will mention your name on a stream and maybe say hi to you. (laughs) 
Alright, that's, that's kind of like the old days right there, clearing some trees, talking about a bunch of stuff. some more chores, and I hope to make a Dark Souls 2 video to wander around just a little bit more, show off the place. See if I've got something that people might want to see more of. I really do like when I hear in the comments that like the videos or the way that I sound. The way that I talk about things. to hear from somebody I like what you're doing so as always for the p few people who show up who watch some of the videos thank you for showing up and watching videos Thank you for being one of the little numbers that pop up in the corner and say I was here. It's nice to know that I've been a part of someone's day every now and again. That people have taken the time to listen to me.